and do a cow. What's up, Trekkers? We're here in Melbourne, Victoria, having a lovely coffee. How did we get here? Well, we took the long road, of course. Adelaide to Melbourne, six hours, over 600 kilometres. Let's do this. Bring it back now. Cal from Alleyways here and I don't always find the time to vlog. Sometimes I'm stuck at home working hard and if I did vlog they'd probably be pretty boring. So because most of the vlogs on this channel are travel related I thought we'd do something a little different in this episode and hand it over to a few very good friends of mine Marco, Mikey and Robbie who decided to do a road trip to Melbourne. <music> G'day, Marco here from Alleyways Travel. Thanks, Cal. Thanks for the sign off. We're on the road to Melbourne from Adelaide. We are left at 9 o'clock in the morning and uh, hopefully we get there in eight hours. So, uh, this is the long road along the old Prince's Highway. Uh, that's it. That's all I know. That's the only fact I've got. The only fact I've got. And I think I'm wrong. I don't even think that's the highway. We're on a highway and Siri says we're going to Melbourne, so buckle up for the journey. We're here at the Kunalpan silos. The Kunalpan silos uh, have a beautiful art installation in the middle of nowhere. Been a long drive so far, so another seven seven or so hours to drive lots of people in this area which is quite quite bizarre really to have so many people out in the middle of nowhere um, but hey that's uh, what road trip and life's all about just being out in the middle of nowhere otherwise you catch the bus all right guys how's it going so we've made our first pit stop we're at the hotel Kunal Park We've made it to the centre of Adelaide and Melbourne, also known as Mob Adelaide. Um, <laughs> we're in a town called Nil because they had Nil fucking ideas when they were naming this place. See you again. Come in right here. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, come with. Here in the center of Melbourne, buskers galore, all playing some kind of uh, Beethoven. drum. Beethoven on the drums. Let's listen to this. Victoria is known for having amazing street art and graffiti and that's where we're headed now. We're headed to check out some of the local street art. 
Hosier Street, uh, Hosier Lane in Melbourne, and this is one of the biggest like art graffiti places in Australia. It's pretty awesome. It's just like iconic faces and celebrities. Some of the best artists come here to do some pieces. St Kilda, uh, a mecca of restaurants and all kinds of nighttime activities. So we are heading to get some uh, evening meal and see what it's all about. Um, we've made it to uh, Soul Sister Foods in St Kilda. Um, just behind Luna Park, next to the beach. They got a full kitted out menu, stunning little restaurant. Two hours later. Park. It's a uh, kind of like a like a little theme park on the St Kilda beach, and uh, we're probably not going to go on any rides, but we thought we'd check it out. It's a beautiful night. The sea air, you can breathe it in. It's delicious. So um, if you wanted to come here, it's five dollars entry, and uh, probably five dollars for every other ride consecutively. You can also get a day pass. I can't remember how much that was. Uh, but it seems like there's quite a lot of attractions here. Definitely fun for the family if you've got a couple of kids with you. So uh, check it out. But we won this! With a population of four and a half million people, uh, Melbourne is one of the greatest destinations I've been to that lets me have a bit of peace, a little bit of quiet, and a little bit of fun at the same time. So, definitely recommend uh, this place. I tell you what, boys, it looked like a very fun trip, and I am so Super envious that I couldn't be there with you. I miss you all. And for the viewers at home, I hope you learned a thing or two. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. I'll catch you in the next place.